Hello, everyone. I'm Sasha Ram Nareen, your instructor for Management 326 Labor and Employment Relations. So welcome to the course. Uh, this video is more uh, is an overview and a welcome to the course and I congratulate you for being part of uh, this upcoming semester. So just briefly, I will introduce myself and talk about some of the key items that you should be aware of for this course. So I'm Sasha Ramnerine. I've been teaching this course for quite a few years now with the uh, program at SFU. Uh, I am actually a business lawyer. I practice law in downtown Vancouver in the areas of corporate law. I do a lot of work in real estate as well as in employment law. So this course it is intended to lay the foundation for a lot of the legal issues and the legal fundamentals that is related to labor and employment. A lot of the students who are enrolled in this course are coming from the human resources background, are also interested in learning more about the legal issues that are surround, uh, uh, that surround uh, workplace issues when it comes to labor and employment. So this course is taught online. Uh, we will host uh, office hours weekly. Uh, there will be no live lectures that go through each of the different modules that you are required to review. However, uh, the office hours that are held weekly, which I'll be posting the date and time uh, when they are scheduled in the announcements in the Canvas shell, uh, where you have an opportunity to ask any questions regarding any of the material. However, you can also ask questions through Canvas as well. So let's briefly go through the Canvas shell. Uh, you can look through the Canvas shell as you listen to this video uh, as a reference point. So in the first part of the course, in the home page, you will learn more about, the, about myself. And there's some information on getting started and how to use Canvas. There is a syllabus as well. So if going through the syllabus, <clears throat> excuse me, you will be identifying and going through different modules that you need to go through for the course. So in total, you'll be going through a number of modules where modules one, you'll be introducing the employment law, a history of unions, and you, module two is going through other issues relating to human rights, etc. So modules one, two, and three is where you would need to read the resources that are available pertaining to the applicable module. So for instance, you would have to read various resources. And the end of each module, you need to answer a series of questions. Those are required for modules one, two, and three. Please review the syllabus for the due dates of when those are required to be due or to be completed by. In modules four, you'll be learning uh, some additional information as it relates to labor and employment. And you will need to contribute to three posts over a series of weeks. In part one, you need to contribute a discussion forum post, part two, and then part three is to discuss and provide comments on other students' posts in part one and two. This semester, there is no exam. So instead, you'll be asked to answer a series of questions. Those questions will be released two weeks prior to the due date, where you will need to take the time answer these questions and post your answer sheet, either in Word document or PDF form into Canvas. Instructions on the format, the font, etc., will be posted in Canvas, Canvas for your reference. There is also a case study where you'll need to look at a case, evaluate it and provide an overview of the case based on questions that are provided in the case study. There is a very important assignment called a bargaining simulation. The bargaining simulation is a great exercise to work with other group members, as well as to have an experience to understand what it's like to negotiate a collective agreement. A collective agreement is an agreement between the union representing the members and the employer. So in the particular bargaining simulation exercise, you will be uh, Put into teams either representing the employer or the union and each of you will have to come up with a positions of certain items such as wages the term of the agreement benefits etc 
that you would need to put forward to the other side. So you would exchange your proposals with each other and evaluate it. So there is, however, no live negotiation with the other side. Instead, it's a snapshot of the bargaining process. Basically, what you're required to do as what you would need to do in a real life collective bargaining scenario is to evaluate your positions and put a proposal on a set of terms to the other side. This is what you're going to be doing. In part two of the bargaining simulation, which is due at the end of the semester, is a reflective piece where your group will then answer a series of questions based on what you received as a, as a proposal from the other side, as well as uh, what you had put forward to them. After this uh, uh, bargaining simulation is completed, it will be a good uh, reference point to understand what it's like to go through a bargaining scenario. What would typically happen after this is then you would coordinate a meeting to then negotiate with the other side on the discrepancies between your positions and the other side. So this is more of a snapshot of the bargaining process. So as I mentioned earlier, there is no exams in the course. Two weeks prior to the due date, you will also receive a number of questions, just like you did uh, previously, answering certain questions as it relates to later base, uh, later items from the modules. So uh, again, uh, formatting, uh, information on how to submit it, etc. The rubrics will also be submitted and given to you in Canvas. Now, the common questions that I often get is, how do I find my group members? So in the Canvas shell, you would look, go under the people tab, which is on the left hand side, where you would then uh, find your bargaining committee groups. So you would either be in a union group or the employer group, depending on uh, where you've been assigned. In your committee group, whether it's number one, number two, and so forth, there'll be a discussion form where you would go to the discussion form where there's a discussion form created for your group to communicate with each other. I strongly recommend uh, a few weeks prior to part one, at least, uh, only no later than that, sorry, is to reach out to your group members in that discussion form to uh, set up a time to meet with each other either online or through other uh, virtual mechanism that you all decide and start working on the bargaining simulation. The instructions are provided in Canvas, which you can look through together. I do recommend figuring out a way to communicate with each other, maybe set up a Zoom room or a different type of uh, chat group so that you can all coordinate with each other instead of relying on the Canvas discussion form. The discussion form is intended to at least formalize the connections with each other. Again, if you have any questions, please do drop in to the office hours. You can also go to the discussion form instructor office tab or forum where you can also ask questions there as well. How, note, those questions are made public to the entire class. So uh, be very careful in the kind of questions you ask. If you have more personal questions or things that are more uh, private, please do email me. And my email has been provided in the announcement form in the welcome post where you found this video. So this course is a very exciting course. Uh, I, I, a lot of you may prefer to have an in-person uh, discussion, uh, but we will make the best of the, what we have through going through the material, but also having an opportunity to discuss the items through the office hours. So again, the office hours are a prescribed time where you can drop in and ask questions. If you don't have any questions, you're still welcome to come in and just listen to the other questions students may have. If, if for whatever reason you cannot attend those office hours due to a conflict in schedule, et cetera, please use the instructor office form or please email me and may, perhaps we can set up a time to discuss. My role is to ensure that you are successful in this course, you understand the material and to assist you uh, in achieving those, go those goals and being successful in this course. So I'd like to thank you for reviewing this video. If you have any questions, anything that I missed as I was discussing this video, please do send me an email or come to the office hours or use the instructor office uh, discussion forum. So thank you very much. And I look forward to getting to know all of you throughout the coming semester. And I wish you all the best in this course and all your other endeavors.
Thank you. And I look forward to meeting you soon.